Can retirees afford groceries? Groceries cost 25% more than they did just four years ago. That's insane. I read how this is derailing retirement for some people. I had a request from a viewer to make a video about using grocery apps. I thought I'd share about coupon apps and other ways to save money on groceries. Inflation is still hitting hard at the grocery store. Groceries are just outrageous. Good grief, food is barely affordable. It's frustrating how much it costs to put food on the table. But there are ways to save if you're careful with your planning and your shopping. I do everything I can to keep food costs down. I use grocery apps and that does help. I'm willing to put in a little bit of effort to lower my grocery bill. It takes a little bit of work, but every little bit helps. Most grocery stores have their own apps where they have deals and coupons. So go to your phone's app store. It's Play Store on my Android phone. Search for the name of the grocery store app you're looking for. For example, I'll search for the Fred Meyer app. Now you install it. Then you have to create an account or sign in if you already have an account. I already have this app, so I just opened it. Then click on Savings and you can view the coupons. Here's one where I can save $20 on $75 if I choose Pickup or Delivery. You can view all of the coupons. I always do this before I go shopping. I will clip coupons if it's something I need or was going to buy anyway. Most of these apps also have a reward section. You can click the reward points section to get four times the points. I live closer to Safeway than I do Fred Meyer, so I often shop there. Here's a receipt from a shopping trip I took a couple weeks ago. I love the sugar-free Gatorades, but I'll only buy them when they're on sale. There were coupons on the app for the 28 ounce Gatorades for 99 cents each with a limit of 10. They're regularly $2.79 each, so I bought 10. I would never pay $2.97 for one Gatorade. You can see the app coupons on the receipt. They also had coupons for 2 pounds of strawberries or 18 ounces of blueberries for $2.97 each. The regular price is $7.99. I won't pay that much for berries, but I will buy them when they go on sale like this. I got $2 off on my spinach and a dollar off on my coffee creamer. Those I needed to buy whether or not they were on sale, so it's always nice when there's a coupon for it. You can see at the bottom that I got a dollar off for rewards. The app tracks how much you spend, then you earn points and you can choose to have money off or choose free products. Once in a while they'll have like five or ten dollars off. They also have coupons a couple times a month for free stuff. Sometimes it's stuff I wouldn't normally use, but I'll get it anyway if it's free and give it to my son. The coupons come off at the very end, so you can see how much it would have been before the coupons are applied. This one said $95.44 on the cash register before they applied the coupons. And it was $56.40 after they applied the coupons. But again, I wouldn't have paid full price for several of these items. You can also see that I paid with a credit card. I have a 2% cash back credit card that I put everything on each month and pay it off at the end of the month. I usually make $25 or more each month in cash back and I just apply it toward the credit card bill. Every little bit helps. My daughter uses the Ibotta app. Ibotta helps you find rebates on things you're already going to buy. Ibotta is an app that shows which items offer rebates at any given time. You just click on the store you're going to shop at and add the item to your list that you're going to buy. After you're done shopping, take a picture of your receipt and upload it. Ibotta credits your account with the rebate. You can earn cash back at most grocery stores by adding offers before you go shopping. You can scan the items in the store and submit the receipt after you're done shopping. 
Ibotta will pay you through PayPal or Venmo. There's also other apps very similar to this. These kind of apps take extra time and I haven't really gotten into them myself yet, but I should. There are people that are way better at couponing than I am. You've probably seen those shows about extreme couponing. I'm in awe. Couponing apps save money, but there are many other ways to cut costs for food. So here are eight tips. Number one, cook at home. Making your meals at home is cheaper and healthier than eating out. I make most foods from scratch and I grow a garden. I'm actually starting to enjoy cooking. And that is a sentence I thought would never come out of my mouth. Number two is plan ahead. Make a shopping list before you go and stick to it. Only buy what you need. Cross check your pantry and your fridge before you go. You don't want to wander the aisles and end up grabbing extra stuff you don't need. Number three, this one may seem obvious, but don't go to the store hungry. You'll end up buying junk you don't need. Everything looks good when you're hungry. Number four is shop at discount stores. Discount grocery stores often have lower prices on some things. Just make sure you look at the expiration dates before you buy. Number five is take advantage of sales. You can look at grocery store flyers online before you go to find the best prices. Number six is buy generic. Generic can be 25% less than the name brands and can be just as good. I buy generic paper towels, canned goods, and popcorn kernels just to name a few. I made a short about making skinny popcorn. I'll link it below in case you're interested. Number seven is reduce your meat consumption. Meat is so expensive. Consider other protein like eggs or cheese a couple times a week. I'm not vegetarian, but I don't eat a lot of meat. I eat mostly veggies. I think it's healthier for you as long as you're getting enough protein. But if I go to a barbecue and somebody offers me a big juicy steak, I will definitely eat it. Yum. Number eight, if you have the time, shop around and figure out which stores have the best prices on different things. I go to Costco once a month to buy things in bulk. I like to go to Winco for large grocery trips. Walmart has better prices on some things, but Walmart is overwhelming for an introvert. So if I need to go to Walmart, I'll go early in the morning. Safeway is closest to my house, so even though they're more expensive, I'll run there when I just need a few things, especially if they have good coupons on the app. A few new habits can help you lower your monthly grocery bill. Then you'll have more money to pay down debt, invest in the future, and to just survive. If you're really struggling and can't afford groceries, there are other options. Local food banks can help you find free food. The USDA National Hunger Hotline can help you find resources in your area. You can call 1-866-3-HUNGRY. You can also text 914-342-7744. This will give you an automated response. Don't be too proud to ask for help. It's not a weakness. If you're seeing me for the first time, hi, I'm Julie and this channel's Happy on Monday. Thanks for joining me. If you found this helpful, please like, and if you're interested in early retirement, consider subscribing. I'm going to leave you with a quote. Struggles are a part of life, but they don't define you. It's how you rise above them that shows your strength. Hope to see you again soon.